Brooklyn Independent Television. Based in Brooklyn, Tim Oshimura is a painter known for his portraits, most of which are set in an urban backdrop. Tim combines graffiti and realism, the result being, quite frankly, some amazingly beautiful art. My name is Tim Okamura and I'm a painter working here in beautiful Bushwick, Brooklyn. I work primarily on what I've always referred to as urban portraiture and sometimes the work veered more often to uh, uh, narrative scenarios but uh, most often it focuses on, on portraiture with uh, graffiti elements and urban motifs that sort of complement the sitter you know, in, a, in a psychological way. You know, the environmental experience of Brooklyn is very unique and that I am, as I said, primarily inspired by the people of Brooklyn, but there's a synergy between them and, and the environment. I think they complement each other. There's something that has a lot of psychological ramifications for me when I walk down the street and I see the layering of graffiti. I sort of consider it an urban, organic experience. The layering of graffiti, the layering of posters and the kind of urban decay that you encounter in some places. I think most people find at first glance to be a negative, but I, I find a lot of beauty and, and vibrance in that. I like to juxtapose that with the people living in proximity to those kinds of motifs that I think are interesting. And there's an interplay between the two that is really uh, fascinating for me. I've had two solo exhibitions and have moved a lot of paintings out of the studio in that time, so I'm in a development phase right now where uh, there's a lot of work in progress. It's actually a painting of uh, three friends of mine who are in a show, How to Make an America. It's just the canvas tacked to the wall. As opposed to this painting, which is uh, stretched and has been shown um, at an exhibit celebrating uh, the creation of Ralph McDaniels. I really wanted to have an old school feeling, the old gazelles and the door knocker earrings. And something really important to me in the work is always infusing positive message. In the case of butterflies, which has been a real favorite motif of mine recently because of the metaphor of metamorphosis and change. As a contrast to this uh, piece, which is for museum show, I have another piece I'd like to show you, which is actually a commission painting uh, that I'm having a lot of fun working on. I, I don't do a lot of commission paintings. Clients wanted a painting with uh, a theme of Jamaica. Yeah, I was intrigued by the idea of, of working with this really, really graphic flag in behind, and this is just a work in progress. I'm also working on two other paintings which uh, are a little bit of a different direction for me. Uh, that's presenting a challenge, but also uh, uh, I'm pretty excited about them. And they're doing the theme of boxing. These are some new portraits that I've been working on that are dealing with uh, women portrayed as boxers. And the models that I chose for this, I think beautiful and delicate. <laughs> so the, the contrast of these, these masks really interested me. My history in Brooklyn is uh, mostly driven by economics and being an artist looking for space for cheap. <laughs> me and a few other artists moved to Dumbo before Dumbo was Dumbo. It was all very industrial. Eventually, uh, we ended up moving to Williamsburg, and again, you know, felt like pioneers. Like, Williamsburg was largely abandoned buildings, so I saw the gentrification happen, you know, right before my eyes. Basically, I got displaced, <laughs> you know, like, so in search of space, again, at a, at a more affordable price, uh, I moved further out on the on the L train to Bushwick and um, now I'm seeing the beginnings of gentrification happening here as well. It seems like artists are always that that initial seed that gets sown in in neighborhoods and and really we're happy I think you know, just to you know find our little space and just do our work and that's it. I, I never moved to Bushwick looking to change the neighborhood and I think that 
the gentrification process has begun, but for the most part, this neighborhood has been a little more stable in, in terms of a lot of um, Latin families in this neighborhood that uh, do own their own buildings. And I think that that's been a strength of it. My artistic process has become actually harder and harder to describe in, in a sense. I mean, I have a general idea a lot of times of, of what I want to do or who I want to paint, but it's become very organic in that sometimes I'll just start the portrait and not know what background or what environment is going to envelop that person or interact with that person until I'm halfway through the painting. So I, I've been a lot more open, I think, to spontaneous decisions and really sometimes waiting for that moment of inspiration where I, I get a sense of what needs to happen in the painting to support that person's personality or psychology. The planning stages are very basic for me in that I, I know the model that I want to work with and maybe have a general sense of what I want to do, but a lot of time I just go into it with uh, an open-ended you know, uh, feeling of, of where it might go. And um, for me that's where, that's where the excitement comes a lot of times is that I know there's going to be a certain amount of work in developing and, and uh, getting into the detail in certain areas, but those moments where I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do this in the background really spontaneous with uh, spray paint, that's the fun for me. So not knowing exactly what's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen is, is where I get uh, some energy and excitement from. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.